recently your school probably received a box full of consumables and some other hand tools and so we're gonna be doing a video series um, featuring just some of the items that were recently delivered to your building and how you might be able to use them so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this thing called copper tape so copper tape is meant to be used with electricity projects and one little pro tip I'm gonna give you because these things get really unruly is take a pipe cleaner and twist it kind of around the edge there and that way you keep it in place so these aren't for decoration um, we're going to learn the uses of how we can use some of the copper tape in a uh, project that you can do almost immediately so as I mentioned earlier the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, learn how to use this copper tape so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out a piece and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it um, better to cut smaller pieces like this than to go ahead and cut something that is much larger so if you can see here, it's got two sides to it. Um, we have the copper side and then we have kind of a backing side. So I'm gonna just make a small little circuit here. So I'm gonna cut this into some smaller pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel the backing off of this. So it just kind of takes a little bit of back and forth. You kind of just have to get it started. And then once you do, then you can just kind of peel the backing off. And I will say this does tend to curl. So be very careful. You may even want to put it on your paper like this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to say this is my circuit that I'm trying to make. And I'm going to go ahead and just adhere it down. So we've gone ahead and put together a sample for you. You're going to see here in our circuit, we have our two pieces of copper tape. Um, and then we have our LED light. And there are two prongs that come out of the LED light. Um, the longer prong should always be your positive side. And you'll know if it doesn't work, just flip those around. So it'll be going the right direction. So I'm using a coin battery right here. Um, we have some of these coming to your building. So you notice that one part of the coin battery is already attached um, to the copper tape. And to make this circuit actually go, I'm gonna go ahead and close the circuit. And you're gonna see the light come on, light go off, light go on. So you might be wondering, why would I ever want to use this? So we had a really interesting project happen in one of our summer workshops. Um, a teacher actually built a model, and the model was a water tester, and she had it basically when she pressed something that the light would come on. Now, in her mind, that was kind of simulating if we were testing water and it had contaminants in it, the light would go ahead and come on. So when you think about this with students, think about how they might be able to bring this kind of circuitry into a model of something they're gonna make. It doesn't need to be 100% functional, but it is a simple way to go ahead and start getting students creating some simple what are called paper circuits. We're also gonna show you though a second way to use copper tape and that is combining it with the Makey Makey. All right, so what you're seeing here is using copper tape um, to actually create almost like an interactive um, poster. So, and this takes advantage of using the Makey Makey. So I want you to notice a few things. One, I've just kind of drawn a really simplified version of the water cycle on here. And you'll notice I have bits of copper tape that are coming out. These are coming out through, I've punched a hole. And what I like to do when I'm using the Makey Makey is I'm gonna make sure that all of my circuits are all coming out at the same side. So you notice I have these little um, tabs here at the top. So what's happening is I'm gonna flip this around so you're gonna kinda of see here is the background of the circuit. You can see where I've punched the hole through and I've run these copper tapes all the way up here. And that allows me to very easily organize this um, for use with the Makey Makey. So this would be as simple as thinking of any project that you would want students to demonstrate knowledge, but you wanna create what I call a kiosk. Think of it as going to a museum where students are going to, um, or participants will be interacting with something, but then there's gonna be a computer screen where something is gonna change, and we'll show a sample of that at the very end. So how do I use the Makey Makey with this? If you're not familiar with the Makey Makey, it is a way to allow um, physical connections to your computer that can allow you to control that computer. So in this case, the Makey Makey has these four arrow keys. Those are gonna represent the arrow keys um, on your keyboard. And so we're gonna use this poster to actually take over those arrow keys. So simply what I'm gonna do is I just need to connect um, each one of these up to one of those tabs that I have put at the top already. And once I've done that, everything is ready to go with the Makey Makey. I can now hook in the Makey Makey using a um, little USB cord right here. 
um, hooked it up to my computer, and now this would actually control what the arrow keys do on my computer. So this really is kind of part one um, of this project, and that's all we're going to show for um, this week. But I want to give you a preview of what we're actually going to take a look at how to do next week, and that is how do you now make the computer program that this actually controls. So now let's kind of take a look at what the second part of this project is going to be about. So you're seeing here I have a program that I've written about the water cycle using Scratch. And my Makey Makey connected to my poster is going to control this program. So when I press the different uh, copper tape parts of the poster, it's going to go ahead and change what I'm looking at the water cycle. And obviously these are going to correspond when I press on condensation on the poster. It's going to go here. So you're probably wondering, how are we going to do that? Well, that's what we're going to look at in part two of this video, and that will be coming in a future week. So um, get out that copper tape, try to figure out some cool ways to use it to make some interesting paper circuits, and maybe find some ways to do a kiosk project with your Makey Makey.